Hey guys, welcome to another daily devotion. This morning I want to talk to you about standing on the Word of God. Now, us as believers, uh, to live successfully, uh, we need to believe the Word of God and then stand on it. Now, the reason why I say that is because it is one thing to, to believe and, you know, we can sort of, yeah, I believe it and sort of thing. But when we stand on the Word of God, that's when you and I, we know that that promise in His Word is for us. And now I want to start off in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 12, and it says this, For the Word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Now, this part, the, the beginning of this scripture is real encouraging to me because it says that the Word of God is living and powerful. And for me, this is such a great um, joy that I have knowing that as a born again believer, all the promises in God's word are mine. But not only that, is that when I'm going through tough times and I'm relying on the word of God, I know that his word is living and it's powerful. Uh, the word of God isn't just a, a bunch of words. It's a book just put together by some people. It is actually God's word. It is powerful. It is alive. And that when we speak it, believe in it and stand on it, things take place in the spiritual realm. It is such an amazing thing uh, as us as believers. What a privilege we have for this word. Um, one of the things is that if we're going to stand on God's word, we need to first know it. Amen. So some of the scriptures I'm going to use here this morning. Uh, so for problems in life, if we got any uh, problems that we might be facing, which all of us really do, I guess no one's exempt from it. Uh, one scripture that's uh, very popular and, and fantastic to use is Mark chapter 11, verses 22 and 24. And Jesus says this, it says, So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Jesus is so amazing. Uh, he's always amazing. But when he, when he says this here, um, that have faith in God, have faith in his word. We, when we know that this is the word of God, when we know that it is powerful, it's alive, and that when we speak it and stand on it, he's saying, have faith. Don't just say it like a parrot, not knowing, you know, what's going to happen. We need to get the word of God. We need it deep inside here that whenever these situations arise in life, that the first thing we go to is his word. The first thing that comes out of our mouth isn't, well, I'm doomed or I'm going to be bankrupt or it's going to fail or my family's going to be lost. No, the first thing that you and I as believers should speak is the powerful living word of God because it is his word. He has given it to us to live successfully. Uh, another thing here, Psalm 34, 17 says this, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears, and he rescues them from all their troubles. That is an amazing scripture that when the righteous cry out, God not only does he hear, but he rescues us. Praise God for that. Psalm 32, verses 7 and 8 you are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Church, God is so amazing. He, he wants to help us in every bit of our trouble. And so when we get hold of the word of God and we use it, we will be so encouraged by his word. There will be a strength and a joy built into our lives where we will start speaking the things of God no matter what we're going through. You know, if we're believing for healing, with which I believe a lot of us are, Isaiah 53, 5 says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Such an amazing scripture. Psalm 103, verses 2 and 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. 
praise God for his word. Exodus 15, 26. Now this is God himself speaking. I am the Lord who heals you. Guys, I really want to bring out this last thing as I close. Proverbs 18, 21 says this, that death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat of its fruit. And really what I want to finish on here is this, is that troubles and circumstances in life will always uh, come to us. We will always um, be affected by it. But to what degree? This is really what I want to get down to. And we have to understand this one thing is that the power of our confession is a lot greater than what we realize. It says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And so I really want to ask this question. When we face tough times in life, do we start speaking negative things or do we speak the word of God? Because if we speak negative things, we're only going to receive negative results. But when you and I stand on the word of God and we speak it, we open up the blessing and power of God into our lives. Guys, I pray that this has been a massive blessing to you and I'll catch you tomorrow for another daily devotion. Take care.